Come here. Hey, how are you? Good evening. It's a Friday. It's about 9.27 p.m. Zulu time. No, it's not Zulu time. Well, it might be. I don't know. It may or may not be Zulu time. Moo ha ha I'm Jeremy. Stormy is down here. Stormy's going to help me out reading uh, this devotion. It's a devotional, three-minute devotion. Uh, it is titled, it is titled, Work is a Gift. It is Ephesians. Ephesians 4, 28. This is going to get deep, especially once you get into Ephesians 3, 4. Once you get into Ephesians, it gets pretty serious. <laughs> they all kind of do. Peter, James, Corinthians. Oh, man. Romans gets pretty serious. <laughs> it's pretty awesome stuff. You got to... Uh, don't take my word for it. <laughs> but you don't got to take my word for it. Reading Rainbow, right? It's be three-minute devotion. Work is a gift. Ephesians 4.28 is the Bible reference. All right. Instead, use your hands for good, hard work and then generously to others in need. Always look for an opportunity to be able to do that. And if you are hired for a job, it is a, a privilege to work, to be hired. Somebody's actually accepted you and allowed you into their business, their company, to work hard for them. You meet all the qualifications and you agree to do these jobs, these tasks, and at the very end it always says, whatever else that manager or supervisor asks you to do. That's always a fun one, right? You're like, okay, whatever. <laughs> it can't be that bad. <laughs> it's, 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 it's awesome gifting. It's a blessing. It's, wow, cool. It's a privilege to work. All right? I get to go to work today, and I get to go do this, and I get to go do that, and God's put me here for a purpose, and I'm going to fulfill that purpose. I don't know what it is. But I'm going to do it because I'm going to stay in close relationship with him. And he'll lead me every day through the Holy Spirit. It's very, very awesome. I just got a blessing leaving work. Clock out at 8.30 p.m. The track lights are on. Guess who's at the track? There's a track meet going on. A pro track meet. And there they are. The studs. As the fitness people might say. Or the track. They're all right there. Adidas team plus all the other people that came to the track. And they were just finishing up. But they go hot again tomorrow. I will be out there. I will be out there. Huh. Kind of forgot about that. Finished up in 2018 with that internship. But I'm all fire anything when it comes into running, uh, running speed, acceleration, force production, all that stuff. It's like, wow. Did you see how fast that person accelerated? Uh, it's pretty awesome stuff. So I know it's still in here. And at some point, God will uh, use what I've done in the past and use what I'm doing right now to get me right where I wanted to be, right where I want to be. It was uh, 2012 when uh, you had to give uh, introduce yourself and what your dream dog would be. 2012 at UCF, it was probably before that. And I, I stood up and I said, uh, introduce myself. But dream dog, I said, train Olympians. At that time, I was more triathlete thinking about that. But... Uh, I trained Olympians. I was the intern, but uh, whatever God's will, God has the best plan for us. And just obedient, where be obedient and glorify Him wherever you at, and make sure they all know uh, who your father is. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure they all knew who my father was. So cool. Work is a gift. Work is God's idea. You may be anxious for the weekend, but God's work idea has a purpose. Pray that you fulfill your purpose today. While God could speak the world into existence, man needed to use his hands and skills to keep things in good shape. God made mankind so that they must use their minds to complete a job. When you work, you can use some of the money you earn to help those who can't work. Work provides finances for meeting the needs of your family, offers a sense of purpose, initiates ideas that help others, and gives a sense of satisfaction at the end of your day. If you think of work as a drudgery to endure, you miss the point. Work of any kind gives you a means of helping others with something God has given you. Your perspective of your work will change when you view it as a gift that has the ability to bless others, honor God, and keep your mind focused. I love that. When I pray, pray for um, success, or even if you specifically pray for uh, financial prosperity, uh, 
and knowledge and wisdom from God and faith and love and all that stuff, but financial prosperity. God, give me this so I can bless others and not just hoard it. Like I said in the last division, not just to build storehouses, to store it all and I'll have to build this and build that like this from the Bible. All right? Then I'll be able to bless others. So give me an opportunity to be able to bless others. Have people reach out to me if there's a need that they have. So cool. And I don't ever hesitate to, to reach out if you have a problem. Even um, So it seems like even no matter how much we have, we're trying to get to the next level. But right now what you have is enough and it's more than somebody else. And they really need it. So give it away. All right? And God will always provide for you. Uh, <laughs> the biggest thing I did last year, last year, it was a leap of faith. I sold a bunch of stock I was like really attached to. I really was. I worked for a company for a long, long time and really attached. And it's nice to walk up in that company and say, yeah, I'm still like part owner of this thing and kind of have a lot of share in the company. Uh, there's thousands of employees. So yeah, I mean, you get a 1% share based off, but, uh, it's kind of cool to walk up in there and say, yeah, I own this and that and whatever. And I did this, but, uh, when I sold that stock, I prayed about it for a long time, waited a little bit too long, possibly, but not exactly. I sold it and I was able to use the money as a down payment for a house, for a house that opened up an opportunity for a family that was in need, that I love the family. They're awesome people and God's children sister in Christ and it opened up that opportunity and I was like wow if I would have never made that move then this would never happen and that would have never happened and uh, wow and God honored it and uh, it worked out and it wasn't my way it was kind of his way even though the desire of my heart was uh, the desire was put on my heart to be like ah, this would be kind of nice to buy to do something with. I don't know what you want me to do with it, God, because I really can't live here. I can, but I can't. Uh, so just be obedient one step at a time and buy it and see what happens or put something out there and see what happens. Knock and see if uh, the door opens for you. So it's kind of cool like that. But uh, through hard work, through hard work, um, and using your gifts and talents and glorifying God and serving other people, He'll honor that. He will bless you for that. We're not doing it for the blessing or for the financial gain. Uh, but we will get paid um, for the work that we get done. We will reap what we sow. So um, do it the best of your ability. And uh, and God notices, people notice, and they want you on their team. And uh, yeah, so, so you can be generous. All right? And help his kingdom. And glorify him as a... Repeat time and time again. That's all we do it for is for, for God. That's what we're here for. That's what he's created us for. Cool. Your perspective on your work will change when you view it as a gift that has the ability to bless others. Honor God and keep your mind focused. So wherever you're at. But if you're uh, if you're not feeling it somewhere, still glorify God. But um, pray about doing something else. All right. If you need to get over a fear and go back to school or take a leap of faith, do it. All right. God will provide the people and the funds and the loans that you need for that time being. All right. Cool. I thank you for my work, dear God. Thank you for the parts I really enjoy. And thank you for the less enjoyable parts that you give me the grace and strength to accomplish. Yeah. Isn't that awesome? Cool. So go into work positive, optimistic that it is an opportunity and a privilege opportunity to serve others. God, what are you going to do with me at work today? Who do you want me to talk to? Uh, who's supposed to come here and meet with me and tell me something from you? Uh, or open up this opportunity? Or what am I supposed to learn here uh, that leads to this bigger, greater idea? Uh, this bigger plan? All right, cool. So don't be scared. Nope, don't have any fear. Just walk obedient on the water. Go, stay focused and uh, see where God takes you. Uh, and I tell you, I truly, truly, I tell you, it's gonna be an exciting uh, journey. There's gonna be some days that you don't know, uh, but you'll see later, now I know. Just like, who's that, Biggie Smalls? I don't know. <laughs> now I know, I know why you did that. Uh, it's pretty cool. Love you all. Stay in the Word of God. Try to, try to keep that close, close relationship with God. It's through doing devotions like this, devotions on your own or with your children or with your family.
praying in private or praying with your family, but it is an individual relationship with God. Sometimes you'll hear that, oh, it's my own personal relationship with God. That's how I do this or that with God. Oh, you need to talk to Him a lot. Just like we have our earthly father and mother, we need to be in close relationship with them. Uh, yeah, because they love us. But imagine how much they love us. God loves us with agape love, a love that can't be described, like a, a love times one billion. It's um, pretty awesome. Wow. Think about that. Let that marinate a little bit. <laughs> cool. Pray for your friends and family and co-workers and for your state and for your country and your leaders, your president. I'm still your president. <laughs> right? But we put our faith in God. Totally in God. And he's put these people in place to fulfill the purpose. Just like you at your job. To fulfill a purpose and your co-workers. They might not be the best. The manager might not be the best. But they're there for a reason at that particular time. And you're there too. Uh, so God, what can I do for you here? Who am I supposed to reach? And uh, interesting you guy. You got uh, interesting people you got in George. And uh, I know you got this, God, and uh, I'm just going to keep doing what you tell me to and stop worrying about that stuff and stay super focused on you and what you've given me. i got to be good stewards of what you've been giving me, the blessings and the people in my life. Cool. Love you guys. See you. Bye.